In this extra video, I'm going to look at another example of volumes of similar figures. You will find this on page 358 in the Namibia Ordinary Level Mathematics Textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Let's look at example 2. If you want, you can stop the video, first try it on your own, and then after that you can continue the video and look at the solution. But let's start. Number two. Two water containers are similar in shape. Similar in shape. When they are full, they hold 3 liters and the other one holds 24 liters. The height of the smaller container is, so this is height, and that is 15,5. Work out the height of the larger container. Now, you must not forget that volume, volume, is ratio, it's to the power of 3. So basically, I'm saying, okay, there's a small one. And let's make a big one. And I'm giving you the ratio. So the ratio will be 3 of the small and 24. But remember what I said, volume is representing to the power three. So actually, before I'm going to take just to the height, I will always simplify it first. So if I simplify, I can just go and I can say I can divide by three, divide. It always helps you to simplify. So I have one, two, eight, but that's still the volume. So that is still the, the answer after you cubed it. So if I want to go back to, because remember, this area, and there's also just like distance, okay? So that is to the power of 2, and that is just to the power of 1, just plain. So I want to make this ratio to the power of 1. So what I must do, the reverse of cube will be cube root. So if I go and I take the cube root, and I'm taking the cube root, so I will get 1 to 2. That is just my normal one. So I can then go to area, or if I was going to volume, I just cube that, and that will give me 1 to 8, and then multiply 3, just keeping a similar um, ratio. Then it will be 3 to 24. But this is now the one for distance. So if I'm going, and I say the height, the height is just representing a certain distance. So if I go and I say the height, and I'm saying, okay, this is the small one. Look there, small. So I'm saying 15.5. So with what did I multiply there? I was actually just multiplying with 50.5. Now, a ratio works like this. Whatever you do on the one side, you, you also do on the other side. So if I'm going to say 2 times 50.5, that is going to give me 31. Okay, so what will be? The question was, work out the height of the larger container. So therefore, the height of the larger container is 31 and that was in centimeters. Okay, so the, the, the difficulty in this kind of uh, calculation was just to, to first simplify the ratio and then to remember it was cube. So I must take the cube root if I want to go to the distance one because they are talking about a specific dis a height distance. So and then to see what, what did I multiply the one side and then just do exactly the same with the bigger one because it's one to two so it will be twice as big as uh, the twice the highest height will be twice the distance of the small container. And that's how you do it. 